we went to visit friends up in Grand Blanc, Michigan. And while I was up there, I had a little free time, so I went visited the little town of Flushing. While I was there, I stopped at Jimmy's Party Store. Interesting fun. As a young man back in 1973, Jimmy started his party store. And he sells, well, sold, imported beer and wine and, you know, the usual party store fare. Party stores were kind of a big thing back in 1973. Didn't have all the fancy places to go and a little town of Flushing, having a place to go get a beer Saturday night, that was a big thing. So, Jimmy ran his store, and then as time went on and he got older, he decided he didn't want to run the store anymore, and he got into buying and selling stuff. And that's what he's doing today. He's trying to sell out his store. He wants to move to North Carolina to be with his family, and I think that's a pretty good idea. So, I went in and looked around at Jimmy's party store, and you can see what I saw. friend of mine uh, shined it up and sharpened it up. Mm -hmm. There's something missing in there? Yeah, there's, uh, there's one screw that goes there. Oh, does it? This is a distant, so the saw blade is probably okay. Uh, this is going to knock the price down quite a bit when you right. go to sell it. Because it's not an original. That bolt. Oh, that bolt is not original. Yeah. Oh. And it, it looks like yeah, it see. would be a nice saw for cutting wood, but if you're looking to sell it... As antique. Yeah, they're, As they're not going to go for much. Uh, That's the problem with all the stuff that I have is... Well, yeah, you... Whoops. It's all right. I get it. It's okay. Sorry about that. So are you retiring and moving? Yeah. I might move down north where I am. Ah. That's where my kids are. That's a big draw. Yeah. It's beautiful down there. My wife's relatives are from there. Is there, right? Yep, they're from uh, Plymouth. The Greensboro. Yep. son lives they've been there like 25 years well they they were there when we were down visiting yeah. it was nice what do i have how about this milk uh, crate, uh, things? i see a lot of them for sale sometimes what's that the That's not in the kind of thing that I look for. Oh, okay. They're, those are nice. You can actually sell those things, though. Yeah. How about this uh, uh, Army uh, Bullets case? There's a couple of them in there. These are nice. For the right buyer, they're good. Right, but they're good. You, don't, you don't bother with them. I don't do with those. I got to... I gotta limit myself, otherwise the house will start to look like your shop. <laughs> That's what my wife is saying. <laughs> you, you keep buying shit. I said this shit is good. I just, I just uh, got this here uh, from a friend of mine. I'll show you. A friend of mine is across the street, right here. He found it in that house. There. Oh. You think that house? Right here, and and then I kind of find a found a mirror off the road. There's a mirror, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we just finished the touch it for touches. We put the oh yeah, isn't that pretty? I showed that to my wife. 
She said, yeah, you still are uh, crazy. <laughs> Getting things. That's what they uh, all say. It's a wifely thing. Yeah, they want them in control. How about some of these for Mexico? Nope. Are you Jimmy? Yeah. Well, Jimmy, it looks like you got a, a long road to go trying to get rid of all your stuff. And I wish you luck, but I don't see anything you know here that I need. You will buy a whole bunch from me? I'll sell cheap. You know anybody? Send them down. I will. We're trying, but I don't want to put an auction on this. Yeah. Auction, you know, I feel so bad selling, you know, selling something like this for two bucks, which is worth 30 or 40 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, an auction, I've been in there. You know, I've been in auctions. Yeah. In fact, the guy across the street passed away. They sold his things cheap. Well, the auctioneer gets paid to sell the stuff. Yeah. And the faster he sells it, yeah. the more he sees it is getting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if he sells your whole lot for a dollar, he made a dollar quick. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. We sold my... Uh, Nope. You're not into that. What are you into? Old tools. They're all just old, old, old tools? You didn't see anything in here? Nope. Nothing that I don't already have. That's How the problem. This guy here? This is old. You need about three people to carry. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see this one. Come on. This one. That's an old baby. I gotta sell you something. Twenty bucks. What's in the toolboxes? These are my tools. Oh, those are your tools <laughs> that you use? Give me fifteen. Give me ten. I gotta sell you something that works. It works. You want me to put it in you know? No, that's alright, Jimmy. I'm still you looking know. at your stuff on the shelf here. Yeah, we'll see if I can buy something from you. How about uh, this old uh, car jack? <laughs> old car jack. These here. I don't know this. That's stuff that you use, though. Yeah. You know. Jimmy was sure he was going to sell me something, and I was pretty sure he wasn't, but then he got the better of me. I ended up buying just a few things, but it was enough to say that I got something. Uh huh? $450 back in the 70s. Yeah, a lot of money. I sold it and bought four houses. Four houses back with foreclosures and all that. I mm -hmm. got lucky. Now I'm giving it away. You know? Well, I hope it works out for you and you get to move to North Carolina and be with your family. Thank you. Thank it you. is a cool store. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping. Oh, sure. Well, if you know somebody, you know, them out, I appreciate it. Okay. Jimmy's Party Store since 1973. Pretty cool place. Thanks. I didn't walk out empty handed. I took what little change I had in my pocket and I bought an Airco cutting torch wrench. That's for turning the tank on and this is for changing the, the torch head and tips. And these other wrenches are for various and sundry little bits and pieces on an Airco set. Then this is called a slugging wrench. And it's a I don't know, can't read it. LI40. And 
And this is a paint scraper. He threw that in just because he had it in his hand. <laughs> but I walked out with something and he was happy. Didn't bother me a whole lot. A couple bucks. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.